So right before the 30th anniversary of the What's Going On album, I'm in the tape vaults looking for anything that remotely resembles the words what's going on, what's happening, brother, right on, flying high, I'm going down the track list. I'm thinking, there's got to be sessions, there's got to be outtakes. And then there's a stack of tapes, and they all have the songs in sequence. And they're on two-inch tape, which is a multi-track tape, where you can separate the instruments, make a mix to stereo. It was all right there. And you play it, and then you have that another holy smokes moment of, I can hear it, I can reimagine it, I can see it, you know? Do you want to just tell me, what, bring things in out, or you want to? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I want to hear the rhythm tracks first. Yeah. It's weird to hear this in its raw stage because, right. you know, I've always known this to be. A, the conga mix was so big with the uh, reverb mm -hmm. and just made it sound, always felt like the song was performed in some sort of cathedral only because the, the, the two of the conga track um, always had a big mm -hmm. giant uh, reverb. Mm -hmm. It's so weird just to hear it in its natural closed in state. So what we hear is So I can hear the squeaking of a kick pedal. So he's obviously standing at a drum set doing this. So there's two drum sets. What's so cool about it is that this this is like one of the most undefined drum songs. <laughs> of soul music like there's I don't think of drums when I think of what's going on I think of the conga but I always felt like it was a ritual syncopated right it's got a percussive thrust right, right? so and then the, the great Jameson James Jameson on bass right I was wondering though why didn't they just bring the like it could have been a whole different song had the drums just been the, the, the force of it but I guess that would have taken away from it yeah, I think Marvin was pretty specific. He didn't want a Motown drummer. Now this is probably <laughs> this is probably the biggest surprise of them all. Right. The fact that an acoustic guitar was used. Like, right. In your experience, have you had many acoustic guitars? I I can't think of one. Tracks? It's a clean amp. I would almost think he was going direct. They usually did. Guitar play, the guitar players usually went direct. Because on those original records, there's three guitar players, and they're all on one tra channel. Because they they all were responsible for their own levels going to one. Oh, uh, into one channel. Right, one channel, and then that channel went DI into the board. Who's on piano? Marvin. Marvin? Again, it's like when all the parts are broken up, it's a whole nother song. <laughs> right. Yeah, when you when you pair up different things, you have Marvin with the guitar, Marvin with the bass, it's a different different feel. 